So let's add the first function we need here. So the first one we show form for creating a new contact. So here public uh, function and let's name it create and here what we will do so we will only return and we have inertia so we have already installed inertia don't forget to import it here and we use the render method and the render method takes name of uh, the folder so the folder will be contact so we'll create it later and file name which is uh, add contact okay so we'll create uh, this folder and file later so this is the first one so the second one what we'll do so this one uh, will store a new created uh, controller uh, not controller but contact store the new contact so let's change it to store new contact and here the name let's make it store and we need also to validate the data so let's create a validation request so php artisan make request and let's give his name at the contact request okay so hit uh, enter and let's add another one for updating updating the contact request okay for for updating the contact uh, so now we have two requests uh, so let's use the first one add contact request and here we have uh, the request so we can use it now and uh, we need first to check before we return anything so we need to check if the request uh, is uh, validated so if it is validated so then uh, what we will do so we will uh, save uh, the contact and to save the contact so the only thing you need to do is to call the model and the model has to create method and we give it uh, the fields so we have the name we can get it from the request so let's uh, add here a request and we can get it from the request name and what else we need we need other fields so we have name we have the email and we have the phone and what else we have we have the job title job title so let's change it to job so here it's job title title what else we have so we have named email phone job title and we have also the company company and let's uh, so it's company so here also company and what else we have here we have country and also we have country code country code okay so we have name the email the phone, the job title, and the company, the country, the country code. Okay. So once you create uh, the contact, so let's store it inside this variable and we can use it now to attach it to the user. Okay. So the user who is uh, logged in. Okay. So let's do something. Let's just for now just. Uh, that just uh, creates the contact and later when uh, we reach uh, when we reach the registration and login so we will change the code and we will add here uh, only the so we will attach uh, the create the contact to the logged in user okay so we will do that later and finally we show uh, the success 
message and to show the success message just return redirect redirect and we redirect uh, the user to the route that we will create later which is home and this route will send also a message and the message will be contact contact added success success fully and also we need something that i will tell you later why we need it which is a class okay and class will be alert alert success and i will tell you later why we need this class okay so for now just follow me so let's uh, go back again so as i said we first we validate the data next we create the contact and finally we show the message and later we will add the created contact to the logged in user so next what we need we need the, the to display the edit form so when the user tries to edit contact so show form for editing a contact for editing a contact and let's change it to edit and here we want uh, the contact model and contact and here we will return uh, the view that we will create later which is edit contact or the components because we will use uh, Vue.js to display uh, components uh, here with and we need to send contact that we need to update to the contact or uh, we send contact that we want to update which is the contact that we have here next uh, what we need uh, we need to add uh, the update uh, function so let's copy from here and paste here and let's change it from uh, store to update uh, and also here to update uh, update uh, the contact uh, and here as we have seen so we need update contact uh, request uh, and once the request is validated so we will use uh, so here we will get also like we have here so we will get uh, the contact uh, and we need to use uh, to use this uh, contact to update or to call the update method so let's use the contact and call it the update method so here let's change it to update the contact okay so now we have updated the contact so also we will do the same thing we will attach contact to the currently lost in user but we will do that later so here let's change the message to update it successfully and class will still the same okay so next what we have we have another function for deleting contact so let's copy and paste here and change this one to delete and also this one to delete and here we will receive contact that we want to delete and once uh, we receive uh, the contact uh, for now just uh, let's just delete it so we need first to check if the if the user is logged in so but we will do that later we need to check if the user uh, contact list contains this contact okay if it contains this contact that means uh, that he has created this contact uh, so he can delete it if not so uh, we tell him that you are not uh, allowed to delete this contact because it is not uh, from uh, your contacts uh, list okay so for now just uh, call delete and later we will add uh, the check and what else we need so we don't need to attach anything so we will only send the message and we tell the user that deleted successfully 
and let's uh, organize the code and remove uh, these parts okay so here we get contact with the lettuce and we redirect the user so what else we need here so we have uh, some uh, or other functions uh, that we will create later for now just let's keep just uh, these ones that we have here so to create it store edit uh, update uh, and delete and later we will add the function uh, the functions the functions for searching uh, for contacts and also adding contacts to favorites and also getting uh, the favorites contacts uh, and order contacts by name okay so once we reach searching and ordering so we will add that for now let's keep uh, just the ones that we have uh, created okay so let's uh, move uh, and add uh, the routes uh, 